what is up it's mick here and today we're going to be creating a really awesome tank game in scratch we're going to have two players a red player and a blue player and they're going to be shooting bullets at each other to claim a victory it's going to be pretty awesome and it's obviously not going to be in one video it's going to take a while and basically we're going to try to uh make that uh and by the way this week i'm going to try to upload almost every day i'll see if i can do that um because i have a pretty free week and I hope I can do that. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right in. So I provided the art for you guys and this is the art. Um, so leave a like for that because I made this and it took me a while. And it looks pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool tank. I made it in pixel art. And all you want to do is you want, we're going to use this and we're going to say one flag is clicked, set size to 200%. I already did this because uh, this is actually my second time recording this video. But basically, um, first off, Let's get right into it. So go into events, say when flag is clicked, go into control, say forever, and then drag in an if, say if key, this one's gonna be controlled by the arrow key, so say if right arrow is pressed, and then we're actually going to um, turn right because, uh, turn clockwise because it's right. Let's, uh, let's put two because uh, tanks don't generally uh, turn that fast. So then duplicate this if, and all you have to do is right click it, and then press duplicate. I already did it, so I don't need to do it again, obviously. But then make this left, and then instead of turning clockwise two degrees, instead we're gonna turn counterclockwise two degrees. You can see uh, already we have this pretty cool turning tank thing, and it's pretty awesome. So then hit, uh, duplicate on those if on that on those two if so that one now we have four and then this is going to be up so say if up arrows press and make this down we're going to move not 10 but instead something like four okay and obviously not turn left here we're going to say move f negative four steps so we go backwards and you can see already we have a pretty nice game and it works pretty well and you can see we can move forward we can move backwards uh but yeah in just a couple minutes we did that and the art's pretty cool so uh please leave a like for that um so then basically we have this right and what we want to do is we want to go into our data and say make a variable now here we're going to put it's going to be called uh red whoops turn speed if you guys didn't know variables are basically words that can be that represent a certain number so obviously hence the name this is gonna represent the amount it's gonna turn so you say one flag is clicked set red turn speed to two and then simply here we're gonna drag in the red turn speed uh, part most of you guys are probably familiar with variables but for those who aren't um, it might not make sense right now, but basically just do what I'm doing, and you can see that it fits perfectly. Um, and then you might guess, but we're going to put a red move speed. And all this is going to be is going to be basically the same thing. I'm actually going to want to change this to three. So you said uh, red move speed, and then go to operators, put a multiplication in the down one. And you'll see, well, I'm going to do this in a second, but we say... Uh, move red at move speed by times negative one and essentially this is going to make it so that it goes backwards at the same speed so you can see that already we have a pretty nice game and it only took us a couple minutes and the art looks awesome um and in the next episode we're going to add a bullet but this was pretty short and i want to keep this short so that i can post a video every day this week thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time and peace out